Gordon is a big blue engine who pulls the express on the island of Sodor. He's a very proud engine with a large tender and a loud whistle. Express coming through! Hello, little brother! How's life on Sodor? Not too dull, I hope. Ah, well, we can't all be famous celebrities now, can we? <laughs> Ugh. Maybe if you break my record, then you'd be famous too. You know fully well that I've been trying to do that for years. Well, you must not be trying hard enough, then. It's not fair! I was built before him, and that double tender show-off has the nerve to speak to me that way! Yes, 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 we know! You don't like your brother! Oh, I don't hate him, but honestly, I just wish he'd stop with his silly boasting about his record. It's not that hard to beat. <laughs> How would you know? You've never gone that fast. James is right, Gordon. You never know how hard something is until you've tried it yourself. Oh, nonsense. Just you wait until tomorrow. I'll show you all I can go just as fast as Scotsman. Come on, come on, hurry it up! Why are you in such a hurry today, Gordon? He's trying to break Flying Scotsman's record, Philip. And I can't waste a minute. Ah, huh, well, in that case... Take this with you! What on earth do you think you're doing, Philip? That is not an express coach. I know that. This is a dynamometer car. What's a dynamometer car, Philip? A dynamometer car helps to measure an engine's performance, such as pulling force, power, and, in Gordon's case, speed. Hmm, this could be handy. Thank you, little Philip. I bet I could beat the Flying Scotsman's record, too! <laughs> sure you can, Philip. Flying Bucks Cab coming through! Must keep puffing, must keep puffing, must keep puffing! Whoa! Slow down, Gordon! You aren't having a race! Get in quickly, please! Be patient, Gordon. One of the passengers needs assistance getting off board. Oh, the indignity. Hello, Gordon. You seem a bit grumpy today. Yes, Edward, I am. I'm trying to beat the Flying Scotsman's record today to prove that I can be really famous like him. Oh, Gordon. You don't need to be famous to be really useful. 
You just need to do your best at being a helpful engine. Well, maybe some engines don't need to be famous, but I do. Well, have I done it? Sorry, Gordon, I'm afraid not. The fastest you've gone was 88 miles. Oh, the indignity. Just 12 more and I would have done it. Oh, Gordon, you silly engine. You'll never be able to beat my record at all. Oh, just you wait. Tomorrow I'll go even faster than today. I'll go three times at- Gordon, you really don't get it, do you? It's physically impossible for you to be my record. Oh yeah? What makes you say that? Well, Gordon, let's look at the facts, shall we? You were built as a prototype to our class. And prototypes are, without a doubt, meant to have flaws. Then our designers could figure out what improvements were needed. Which is where our other siblings and I came into the picture. We were built to be bigger, faster, and stronger than you'll ever be. You may be the oldest, but you're still little compared to the others. Little brother. But... If you want to keep trying, who am I to stop you? But perhaps take less coaches next time? Maybe that's what's slowing you down. Come on, Gordon. We gotta head back to Knapford now. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll beat the record this time. Hello, Gordon. Gordon, what happened? You were so excited to beat Fine Scotsman's record, and you... I'd like to go back to my shed now, please. Wh what? I want to go back to my shed, please. Uh, sure. Well, hello everyone! Hello to you too, Gordon! Did you beat Flying Scotsman's record? Did you go a hundred? James! Now's not the time! What's the matter? Uh, we don't know! Gordon hasn't said a word to anyone this whole time! Is he okay? I'm sure he's fine. I think it's best we give him some space, though. I've never seen him this quiet. Well, all right then. Poor Gordon's spirit was crushed. He had never had Flying Scotsman speak so poorly to him before. And deep down, Number four engine believed him. Gordon didn't know what he was going to do next. 
But that's another story.